Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the backup lamps. Welcome to a new video. So on YouTube you can find many videos on where they show you how to change the backup lights. Uh, one of the first for Kashkai was from my friend Frostalenik. Little shout out to him in this channel. Um, so I won't show you how to change your backup lights. But what I'm wondering is one of the things I don't like about the Kashkai is that um, the quality of the backup camera, so the around view monitor, is really really awful at night time. And I wonder if I put in uh, much brighter LED lights if the quality of the nighttime view of the camera will get a little bit better so this video is all about the quality of the camera so first of all we have to remove the liner of the trunk which is quite easy remove the bolt remove the plugs and put out the li liner so I won't show you that in this video. As I said, there are many videos around that show you this. Useless to make a new one. As always on the car, you have to use a little bit of force to uh, pull it out. As you can see, all the clips are still in. Except for this one that I broke a little bit. But don't be afraid. You can order them online if needed. and. Um, as you can see, I still have got them. So um, I think there's one missing here as well. But that should be still in the car. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I will get it out and place it back as well. So there you have it. You have one connector for the tail light. And you have one connector with the backup lamp. So when you turn it like this, you can get it out. So, as they're really hard to get out, you can just pull the socket and then you can pull the light itself as well. As always with halogen, be careful not to touch the bulb itself or it will burn right away next time. So one top tip I can give you, make sure you order bulbs that are the same size or smaller than the original ones. Otherwise, uh, you will have to uh, remove all this backside and even detach a little bit the, um, the tail lights. Otherwise, you can make the turn inside. Just order them smaller and yeah, they're plug and play. So, as always, before finalizing an installation, just check if everything works like it should. So, even with this, uh, with these shorter bulbs, it still is impossible to make uh, the turn and um, to loosen up a little bit the backlight you need tools that can uh, unbolt those long bolts there so um, I thought of a little clever plan and uh, I think it worked out but you have to be really careful I first entered the light bulb itself which I blocked with the backside on this plastic and then I carefully replug the connector just be careful not to pop your light bulb inside where you can't get it any longer but if you be careful it is very easy to do and uh, this way you, you can enter your new light bulbs without having to dismount everything so they're back in place they're plugged quickly test if they work correctly so now the big question is will it be any better at night time so night time at La Palme Ray again time to go to check our backup lamps at night so there they are at night time, as you can see it is much brighter, but as I said in the beginning of this video, 
what will it do to the quality of the round view monitor let's go check out well of course the resolution is still not perfect but um i have to say the image is a little bit clearer so yes the led record lamps do improve the quality of the camera so here you can see the image in the front and here you can see the image in the back it is almost the same but you um, should know that in the front i have my led lights as well who are clearing up the road really bright so um, in the back it is improved so i would recommend this upgrade see you in the next video bye bye